As my colleagues were enjoying the beautiful view of the city from atop Room 52 Hotel, yours truly was... Hmm... Okay, guilty. Guilty as charged. I was late for breakfast on the first day of the tour. Oh Lord, who does that? Can I blame this on the time difference with Kenya? Uh, I was also distracted by this at the restaurant door. Forgiven. Forgiven, right? Great! By the way, Habaron is within Central Africa time zone. Simply put, one hour behind Nairobi, East Africa time. So this is day one and the start of a whirlwind tour of the beautiful country that is Botswana. Our first stop, Khan. First up, quick breakfast. Then check out. It is now time to meet our hosts on this exhilarating adventure. Okay, welcome to Uzwana guys yes. and welcome to Uzwana Red Cross. Yes. I see you've met my colleague. Chanana and Pozzo from Botswana Red Cross Society will journey with us. This is a humanitarian mission that will see us traverse the interior of Botswana. So, to-do list counter check done. Then, off we go. Here's the deal. Let us explore the country first, then we will come back and turn Habaron upside down. Right? Cool. This is a village called Mogodisan. This is a posh village. Mm. Okay, before we go too far, let me explain the administrative structure of Botswana to avoid confusion. Botswana is divided into 10 administrative districts, each represented by a district commissioner. The districts are further divided into sub-districts, then into villages. Whereas in Kenya, a village naturally denotes a rural setting, in Botswana, it is purely administrative. We are now on the famous Trans-Kalahari Highway, 1,300 kilometers of road that runs through three countries, Namibia, Botswana and South Africa. This road is famous for its sceneries, including the world-acclaimed places to visit, the Okavango Delta, the Namib Desert, and not forgetting the Kalahari Desert. Close to 60 kilometers later, driving in a northwesterly direction, welcome to Molepolule. Also known as the gateway into the Kalahari, Molepolule is the largest village in Botswana with an approximate population of 70,000 people. Molepolule is in Kwenang district. Now, you remember what I told you, right? Villages here are purely administrative. Don't get it twisted. The drive to Hang is quite interesting. Purely large areas unexplored. Most time, the vehicle has to slow down for livestock. All through the 400 km journey, cattle, horses, donkeys, sheep, goats are all over. Yes, I said horses, as opposed to Kenya, where horses have a class attachment and are not very common. Here, horses are everywhere. Oh, and about the cattle, and to put this into perspective, Raising cattle is by far the most profitable farming activity in Botswana. The beef industry is very well established with 95% of the production being exported, much of it to Europe. This is actually a running joke here. Cattle outnumber the people population. <laughs> and this has been fodder for some interesting jokes. Savage. Well, finally, we arrive at Hang, to a grand reception, I must add. Let us explore Hang a bit more. Kang is in Kalahaji. Kalahaji is a district. And one of the well-developed. This is, this is actually a great development. You see it at night because all these are solar powered. Yes. The whole village. Mm. Well, you guys don't call it a village. Okay, let's say yeah, a township for now. The whole town <laughs> is literally under 
uh, has power at night okay. because of the street lights which are solar powered it's, it's not the case with most places okay. around the country they actually even call it a solar city because of the solar panels this is actually well to do with many amenities unlike what you'd find in other villages government facilities you have your primary hospital here a primary hospital would be not the fully fleshed bigger version of the hospital but also it's bigger than a, a clinic you also get your police here which are not in every um, village around there's a senior secondary school here that's how you can tell the place is quite big we have primary junior and senior so others will come from the other villages to attend the yes, senior, senior. Yeah, and board so mainly they are boarding school Grocery shopping is well served by ShopRite and Choppy's supermarkets, quite recognizable brands in Kenya too. Then we have what we call a hotla. Hotla would be your, the elder in the village, the, the chief. This is where the administrative part of the, the chief's side is done. And that's not all. There is an airstrip, and uh, not quite in use, but functional. Let's end the quick tour with a visit to our host, shall we? Why are we here again? We are here to identify some Botswana Red Cross Society projects of note and profile them. Uh, that should be enough for today, right? Let us retreat to our little haven for the night. I can confirm we have not carried any animals with us. Next week, we will have a lot in store for you. What is the staple food in Botswana? Why is there a water pan next to every city, town or village? Then, we will go visit the Bushmen.